What's good people, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be covering another beginner tutorial, how to do a glow hit effect that I'm going to put up on the screen now. It's decent, isn't it? It's also really easy to make, and I mean really easy. So let me show you like, how to do it. Hey, but one thing, one thing, yeah, before we start. More than 80% of you aren't subscribed to the channel yet. Obviously, I'm out of dropping all this sauce. I'd appreciate if you guys liked, comment, subscribed. Your choice, you don't have to. Either way, I'm still going to teach you. So let's just get straight into it. Yeah. Okay, guys, it's probably one of the most easier tutorials I've covered yet. You simply only need one clip and then split it with Control shift d wherever you want the effect to start. So I want it to start about here. So I'm just going to hold on to this one, Control shift d and then you'll have two separate layers. Now on to the next step. All right, you lot, step two, all you got to do is Control d copy the clip, then go onto your Roto Brush tool, double click on the page, and simply mask out the area where you want the effect to work, basically. So I'm going to do the hand. And even the watch to be fair so i'll do the watch in the hand and then i'll get back to you once i finish that all right so as you can see the road top brush is working fine up until this point here it just messes up like mad so simply just go onto your clip and then alter it manually and just fix it all by yourself all right so after fixing it, this is what i got now it's very rough but it works for our effect that's all we really need what you're going to do now is press freeze all right, guys, the freezing is done, but just a quick mention, I'm using a very low resolution clip, but in your actual projects, if you're using something much higher quality, this effect will look 10 times better. So yeah, man, let's move on. All right, guys, next step, you're going to isolate your layer by hiding our layer underneath. So you just got your roto layer. Now what you're going to do is go into your roto brush, up the feather so it looks a bit better than it does before. That's fine. Then next, you're going to add a luma key, okay? Leave on key out darker. Just slide the threshold up until you're happy. Again, we're just we're looking for highlights here. We're not looking to get rid of everything. So I just want highlights. Does that do the job? Yeah, I guess so. Could have a bit more. Maybe there. And then also you can add some edge feather just to make things a, look a bit more smoother, if that makes sense. So yeah, that's all right. I'll keep that. Now the next thing I'm going to add is a paid plugin, but I'm going to show you a workaround as well. So the paid plugin I'm adding is Deep Glow. Again, I highly recommend you invest in this. All you got to do is go down to your Deep Glow. Go into tint, enable tint, and then you can map it to any color you'd like. Let's say I want it blue. It can be blue, green, green. But I'm going to stick it on a nice orange color. Maybe play with the settings a bit, down the radius a little bit, just like that. Next thing you're going to do is go into your bottom layer underneath our glow and simply add a Lumetri color. Go down to basic correction. Lower the exposure a little bit and just play with everything until you have something you think looks all right. Again, every clip is different, so don't just rely on what I'm doing. It'll be very different for your one. All right, guys, I've just altered these, added a bit of vignette in there as well, just by dragging this back. And yeah, there's a difference. Now onto the final step. All right, guys, so now the workaround, if you don't have deep glow, all you got to do is just add the standard After Effects glow in and then just up this radius up the intensity as well I'd say to what like that maybe I'm gonna add a tint in now and then simply map the white to whatever color you feel like also a big thing you know it doesn't look right like that so all you gotta do is go into amount to tint and simply drag it down until you get something that looks a bit less weird okay but like I said you can clearly see a massive difference between that if I delete these now you can see a big difference between that and that all right, so now I'm going to add an adjustment layer with Control alt y and then simply cut it to our top layer. Then I'm going to add Sapphire's very own flicker. Then simply just up the amplitude to, let's say, I don't know, 4, 8. Sure, that works for me. Just gives it a bit more of a nicer looking effect if we add a bit of flicker. So, yeah, and that's literally it. If you want to spice it up a bit, you can always add a shake or some sort of transition here. Maybe if I show you how to do one without a plugin. So all you got to do now is add brightness and contrast. Okay. And then simply keyframe it, press U, and then bring these three back, Control C, Control V, and bring them three forward, and then simply up the brightness like this and like this. Now simply after that, all you got to do is copy that over with Control D. If you have no plugins, this is an all right option to use, as you can see, just kind of makes everything blend a bit easier. But if you do have plugins, obviously, it'll look a lot better. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much how to do it. So, let's have a look at the final result. Yo, so that's another beginner tutorial done. Hope you lot enjoyed it. More importantly, I hope you learned something. I'm going to keep sticking to the script until it gets boring. 
But yeah, have a good day, night, whatever's going on your sides. That's about it. See you later.